Welcome on this presentation on the digital mapping and testing of relevant soil classification diagnostic units to support precision agriculture. Our objective was identify the major WRB and proposed Hungarian classification system diagnostic units applicable in a precision agriculture system under Hungarian soil and climatic conditions and how they relate to the yield potential of a selected field compared to other methods commonly used in precision agriculture such as contact and non-contact soil scanning methods, vegetation biomass mapping, different surface sampling strategies, and so on. The present research field is located in Somogy Hilly region, Hungary. Soils were developed mainly on loess and loess mixed with sand. The dominant soil forming process is erosion due to the steep slopes and the previous land use, which was vineyard before transforming into a cropland. During the soil survey and the laboratory measurement, we allocated three dominant soil types. These are according to the WURB are calci soils, gambi soils and lovi soils and for the proposed Hungarian soil classification system, brown earth, fluvi soils and carbonate soils. During an intensive soil survey, 158 soil curves were taken to one meter depth per quarter hectare. Based on randomized grid sampling scheme, along with soil pits on the dominant soil types. Several other sampling methods were also tested, like grid and management zone sampling, along with soil sex scanners, handhold soil scanners, standard laboratory measurements, yield mapping, remote sensing, elevation model, and the varieties. A random first algorithm was used to create the continuous super property classification unit, maps for the further analysis, for the classification cooperatives then based topographic layers and 5 years mean and DVI and MSBI was used. Based on the local condition, the following WR classification units were used along with the Hungarian soil classification system units. A yield potential map was calculated based on the last 5 years yield maps on different crops. After data cleaning, removing the old layers and errors from the data, each year was normalized and the mean value was calculated to represent the yield potential. After we modeled all the relevant properties, a random forest was used to database including the dam basic cooperatives, laboratory analyzed results, topsoil color, the previously mentioned classification units, mean and DVI, MSBI and soil scanning results, mainly soil electrical conductivity done by different contact and non-contact scanners. A random forest regressor was used then to predict the yield potential and the 10 most influential properties are presented for two scenarios, one with using the dam based cooperatives and one without. For both scenarios, solid classification units are major describers with appearing more than 50% for the both cases Besides those, some soil chemical and physical properties, morphological properties, appear along with either dam related coverties, such as slope or TWR or RSP for the other case. Surprisingly, none of the soil scanner results appear near the top classifiers, although these are one of the most common techniques nowadays to describe the in-field viability. Based on the result, we can conclude that the sites selected soil classification units are well correlating with yield potential under the presented landscape condition and can be used for pH planning. Classification units contain aggregated information with more in-depth information on the soil condition than other studies methods, which are widely used in specific application planning. More research is needed on how WRB and the Hungarian soil classification can system can support a pH system when survey is done in a comparable price range compared to the more common methods like soil scanning and grad sampling.